Welcome back to The Modern Cigar. I'm your host, George Martin, and today we're talking about the five accessories every cigar smoker needs to have. Uh, uh, some you might need on any given moment, whenever you light up. Some you might need on one-off scenarios. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into these five things you might and will need as a cigar smoker. All right, so the first thing you'll need is definitely you'll need a lighter, hot for obvious reasons. Um, but they come in all styles, soft flame, torch, tabletop. Um, that is personally a, all your preference, but um, soft flame is not gonna work well in the wind. Torch is gonna work in almost all conditions. Um, tabletop is nice if you're, if you smoke at home usually, you can just keep it on the table. If you have a bunch of people, you can just leave it leave it on the table, it's, it's a very nice uh, lighter in that respect. Um, yeah, good lighter. You want something that lights every time, you don't want just one that sucks. Um, single torch is gonna be a pain to get a thicker cigar lit up, and uh, but it's gonna be nicer for touch-ups. Anyways, there's a whole um, plethora, myriad, if you will, of information about lighters but that's an accessory. All right, so the next thing you'll definitely, absolutely, without a doubt need is a cutter. Now, if you had to pick between a cutter and a lighter, let's say, you know, you're on an island, desert island, and you can only have one of them, obviously you need the lighter because you can peel the cap or bite it or whatever, but a really good cutter is essential because if you get a cheap cutter, if you get just something that's not sharp, your cap's gonna rip, it's gonna fall apart, it's gonna pinch, it's not gonna snip through, it's it's just sloppy. So you wanna get a really nice cutter, um, preferably preferably from one of the bigger names, you know, um, Zycar, Calibri, what have you. Um, there's just so many good options out there, but get yourself a really nice cutter and uh, life will be easier. All right, so we're approaching number three, and from here on out, these are gonna be preference. These aren't required, you know. A cutter is almost super required and mandatory, so is a lighter, obviously. Um, but these are either luxury items or things you might not need depending on your lifestyle or types of cigar you smoke, what have you. Um, the next, number three, is uh, Boveda packs, and these are humidity controlling packs. That way, it's, it's maintenance free. Um, so what it is is just a little rectangle and there's a, like a gel in there. And you just buy it, take it out the plastic and throw it in your humidor. That's it. Um, depending on the size of the storage unit you're using, you might need two, you might need four. Um, I believe the recommendation is one pack for every 25, 30 cigars your humidor can hold. Um, but I could be wrong, I'll probably put a correct answer right here. Um, so obviously I could have said, you know, get a humidor, but um, I also use like Tupperware type deals to make like a uh, Tupper door. <laughs> um, that's where I store my boxes. So what I do is I put that, I put the Boveda packs in there and it takes the guesswork out. They're already in the boxes. So the fact that it's in a plastic container doesn't matter because there's already cedar in there and it's just good for long-term storage. Um, but yeah, Boveda Packs is a life changer. I'm sure you're already aware of them, but um, it takes the guesswork out. You don't have to re-humidify, uh, I guess, with distilled water, certain um, methods like uh, silica beads or um, those really shitty uh, foam things that come with cheaper humidors. Um, anyways. Boveda packs, huge life changer. The only con is that they are kind of expensive in the long run. Um, each pack will run you like six bucks. So if you need like three of them, that's $18. And those need to be changed every few months depending on the seal your container has and the humidity level you pick. That's another perk, they come in different humidity levels. Um, 62, 65, 67, 69, 72, anything above 60, like 72 and 75 are kind of too much. 72 is okay. 
75, definitely no. But huge life changer. Love it. But they have had. All right, so the fourth thing you may or may not need, depending on your lifestyle, is the is a uh, travel case. And it could be one of those hard plastic ones. It could be a leather book type deal that closes. It could be uh, like a, uh, just a three cigar case, just anything for travel. Um, and they might, they could get expensive. They could be affordable. Just depends on what you're looking for. And one thing I've really noticed is, and I like cigars are not a cheap hobby. And if you try to make it cheap, you're not going to get the full enjoyment of it. Um, so that's really just something to keep in mind whenever you're shopping for cigars, for accessories, anything else. Um, so these are hugely beneficial because if you're traveling even, I'd say farther than when you're leaving your city, like let's say you're going to the beach, you're going, you're flying somewhere, you're leaving the country, whatever. Um, you, these are very beneficial because you can throw them in your bag and you'll be good. The cigars won't roll around, they won't damage each other. Um, if you throw them in a bag, they're not going to be crushed by anything because it's a very protected uh, material. And this is just miles better than a Ziploc bag. A Ziploc bag is fine if you're going to like a friend's house, you're doing a quick day trip somewhere. Ziploc bag is fine. You'll put it in your glove compartment or your center console. But if you're if you're using luggage, please get one of these travel cases. It's a lifesaver. It maintains humidity. There's usually wood cedar in there, um, so you're not really uh, changing the element too much. Um, and they can be found anywhere. Any cigar retailer, um, Amazon. Just and the fifth and final thing you may or may not need is the perfect draw. It's, I'm sure if you've watched any Cuban cigar related videos um, from any other YouTuber or on Reddit or whatever, it's not just your typical draw poker where it just pokes holes in your, in your tobacco. It has a special design to where if it's plugged from a stem or on, God forbid, plastic or something it goes in and then the design pulls it out so it, it fixes the problem it doesn't just change the problem because what happens with a regular draw poker is you'll take you'll take it you'll poke a hole in it and it might improve the draw but it's gonna more than likely tunnel because you're increasing the airflow in one particular spot um, whereas the perfect draw pulls out what's uh, plugging the cigar anyways, fixes it, and you're good to go. Now, these are heavily used in Cuban cigars and by Cuban cigar smokers because they are notorious for leaving stems in there and poor quality control or over-wrapping the cigar itself so the draw is almost unsmokable. This not always fixes it, but it has a pretty good track record with fixing plug draws. So that is the perfect draw, I'll spell it right here. Pick it up, I'm not sponsored. I have way too small of a channel to be sponsored by anyone. And that's okay, I don't care. So yeah, perfect draw, check it All out. Right, so that has been the five most essential and or recommended cigar accessories that every enthusiast should consider or have in their arsenal, just given any certain situation. The first two, the lighter and the cutter, are darn near mandatory. And the last three are the travel case, Boveda pack, and perfect draw are optional. You know, you might have a better alternative. You might never need it. <clears throat> so either way, recommended products. So if you enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. This has been The Modern Cigar, and I'll see you next week.